Hey there, quirky peeps. Marvel just launched their latest series, and it came in like a fresh breath of air. Iman Vellani does really well as Kamala Khan throughout the show. It was a classic enforcing family and rebellious child trope that we got to see. But the whole family dynamic felt pretty new and wholesome to the MCU setting. I just got put it! The episode was filled with easter eggs and references to other MCU members as many of them were name dropped. The AvengerCon even brought up the Guardians of the Galaxy. But the most surprising aspect of the episode were the new powers that came from Kamala's bracelet. This power change was initially frowned upon. It got a lot of backlash as Marvel made a complete 180 degree turn on Miss Marvel's powers. In the books, Kamala is an inhuman. She got her powers by being exposed to the Terrigen Mist after she was returning from a party. She basically got the ability to shapeshift as all of her body parts could take any form she wanted. Obviously, this is not what's happening in the MCU series. But I've personally supported the change of powers for many reasons. These new abilities are good for the budget that this series has got. They actually enhance Kamala's trademark and beginning abilities as the bracelet provides more of an upgrade. She became different from Breed Richards, and we can clearly see that Marvel has primarily made this change to set up a narrative for the Marvels. Miss Marvel is supposed to play a key role in the Captain Marvel sequel, and her new powers which came from the bracelet that belong to Kamala's Nani will tie into the Marvels. But people really want to know what this bracelet is. Well, I believe that it is inspired by the Kree Negabands from the comics. As far as their history and origin is concerned, these millennia-old Negabands were powerful relics of the Kree Empire. They grant their wearers some crazy abilities as they are able to transform mental energy into physical energy. They provide superhuman strength, speed, agility, durability, and even flight. They can generate force fields and also allow teleportation. The original captain, Marvel, was gifted these bands by the Kree Supreme Intelligence. Hank Pym once created a pair of his own. Annihilus also got his hands on a version of them and even Star-Lord got them. And they also lead people into the negative zone. For those who are not aware, the negative zone is an antimatter continuum that exists alongside the continuum which Earth occupies. It was discovered by Reed Richards, who built the first portal between Earth and the negative zone. But it seems that within the MCU, even Miss Marvel could give us a lead into this world. The first episode itself showed us exactly what a Nega band is supposed to do. Kamala turned mental energy into physical energy. She thought of shooting photon energy blasts, and that's what the bracelet made her do. She thought of stretching her hand instinctively, and her thoughts manifested it into reality. We even got her comic accurate shape-shifting ability through this maneuver. And then as Kamala was trying to get home, she even thought of a stepping stone and it just came out of her foot, thanks to the old relic. What's more is that we even got a glimpse of the negative zone as soon as she wore the bracelet. So yeah, this bracelet could definitely be tied to the Kree Nega bands. Although Marvel has made a few changes to the Nega Band's concept, as Kamala doesn't get the ability to fly or teleport. Instead, Marvel has simplified the powers and made them more like Green Lantern. Whatever Kamala could think of, she could create using these bands and her strong will. The Kree had a presence on Earth during the 90s. So, I could imagine that Kamala's grandma could be linked to the Kree somehow. She could have been the first user of this bracelet. And now it would probably be her wish for Kamala to use it for good. So, this Kree connection will tie into the Marvels for sure. The latest teaser showed us that Farhan Akhtar is playing a character called Hassan. What you seek is seeking you. But since the Jinn has been spoken of twice in the first episode, he has to be the main villain. And I believe that Farhan Akhtar will be a version of MCU's Jin. He is after this cosmic energy bracelet too. Since the Nega bands came in pairs and Kamala only has one, maybe Farhan Akhtar's character could have the second one. And he just wants to complete his set to become even more powerful. That's just a minor theory on my part, but we'll see if it comes true. Okay, that's all for now. Smash that like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!